Hey y'all, um, I wanted to show you my super fast, run out the door, five minute makeup. Um, I'm gonna try not to talk that much, that way we won't be at 25 minutes, but I can't promise it. So, let's get started. I swear to God, it's just tea. Um, my throat's a little hurting today. Um, so first, let's just jump right in, ladies. Um, so first, this is the Babor Glow Boosting um, Serum. I love it. Um, one little ampule lasts me like a few days, um, but this is great. You just throw it on all over your skin. Don't worry about it. There's no right or wrong way. And the reason I love this is because it gives you a nice little um, glow and it feels so hydrating on your skin. If you guys read my blog, this is one of my must-haves for travel. Um, the next thing that I do is I love highlighters. So this Marc Jacobs in Spotlight, don't think I'm crazy, but I rub this all over my face. I love it. Ooh, I'm like the Tin Man. Um, tin Man on crack, but whatever. I love it. Anyway, um, if you're oily, if you're one of my oily skin ladies, do not do this. I repeat, do not do this. Um, you will look like a disco ball, which is not good. We want to look like we're going into Studio 4, not like we own it, we're performing. And it's all that we have, okay? So, if you're oily, um, stick to a highlighting powder like Becca, Anastasia, um, uh, Charlotte Tilbury has a good one, Dior, Laura Mercier. There's a lot of other brands that have great highlighting powders. Just don't do a cream. Okay, the next product that I'm using is because of my dear friend Ashley Halston. Um, she's also known as um, Nashville Lifestyles. You guys 100% should follow her blog and YouTube, she's stunning and funny and so sweet and a great mom and I just absolutely love her. But her skin is fantastic and I saw this in her little thing and I used it and I absolutely fell in love. Um, I've used their concealer for a while but I love the CC cream. It's very light for the daytime and I am using the color light. So just take about like two to three pumps Dab it in your little areas. Make sure that beauty blender is 100% wet um, or damp, sorry. We don't want it gushing with water, but we do want it um, wet. A good way is that it should almost double in size. So that's usually a good rule of thumb. Also, if you wanna save money, you can also go to Amazon and get the Real Techniques sponges. They are like two for eight or nine dollars. They're amazing. Um, this is just what I happen to have close to me. So that is why I'm using this one. But if you all notice, just it goes on. It's a great coverage for a CC cream. Honestly, a lot of them aren't, and this one is amazing. I highly recommend it. The next thing I'm gonna do is, if I can find my little brush, um, put on my concealer. Now for this, I am using um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and I'm using it in the color light with my Morphe brush in M335. I love it. So I just take a little bit of this and I go underneath my eyes and around my nose because I get really red. And I don't know about you ladies, but I get I get pretty red around my mouth. Um, and that's because I'm talking a lot. So my blood is circulating. Always get these little areas, y'all. Some people don't get them, and it is, I can't even tell you, it is my biggest pet peeve. When I see girls out and that's not done, I want to take my brush and just start attacking their face. But I don't, or else I'd be in jail. But okay, then just go over with your beauty blender. Make sure that there is no little sparse areas. Cover everything, okay? And I haven't slept that well, so I could use a little bit more concealer, but we're gonna be good for right now. Next, I take my 
Chanel, and I can never say this because I'm not fancy, all right? Um, I'm redneck, so Soleil de Ten, or whatever it is. It's the cream bronzer is what I say. When I go to Chanel, they're like, you mean the Soleil? You know what I'm talking about. Um, twirl it around and just start going around your forehead. This is not heavy contouring. That is not what I'm doing. I'm strictly just giving me a little bit of color um, so that way I don't look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So if you notice, there's not like that harsh line. Um, that's not really my thing. It's not my style. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on that, I'm 100% capable of doing it and I will do it. But I'll only do it if you ask because it's just not my thing. I like more, um, I like more natural like red carpet makeup, not like this crazy drag makeup. I don't understand it. Um, I love drag makeup, just you know, not for every day during the day. It's not, it's not good. Okay, so after we get that on, I do go back with my spotlight highlighter, and I take my fingers. And I go around through here. Again, if you're oily, this is where you're going to use a pressed powder at, okay? Just wanted to let you all know where to use it at. Always do the tip of my nose. I've never understood when girls say, I'm going to go powder my nose because I'm like, let me go shine my nose. I need that thing to shine. Um, I do already have all my mascara because to be honest, I did a video my dog started barking and I was too lazy to take it off. <laughs> Um, but put a little bit of the highlighter on your eye. This X is like a little, little shadow. And always do the center of your lips. I'm not flipping you off. I'm just trying not to use my ugly finger. Okay. So once that is on, I go back with my blush. And I'm going to use a cream blush today. It is by Jouer, which means to play in French. I'm very fancy today. And smile. And just only dab it right there in the apples of your cheek. If you're not um, comfortable using a cream blush, use a powder blush. Um, I love very bright colors for summer and spring. I think like just beautiful pinks and corals and peaches um, and even like reds can be so pretty. If you're one of those girls and you're like, I'm not a blush girl, I have natural redness in my skin, you can actually go for a very subtle coral. Um, don't go bronze, because if you do that, it's gonna look like you're making mud pies in your mama and papa's backyard, and it's not, it's not a good look. You do need some sort of separation. So I like cream because honestly, blush is one of the first things to go. You can carry it in your purse throughout the day, and when you're like, oh, I'm looking a little tired, plop it on, it is so easy. So whenever you get it on and it's blended, you're gonna wanna set everything with powder. Now, I'm not a huge powder person. Um, if you've followed me for a while, you will know I hate powder, but I like this powder. Um, this is NARS. This is the translucent. At nighttime, I use my Kogan Doe. It's still a very light powder. It's amazing. It's got like a nice sheen to it, um, which I will show y'all how to use um, in another video. Um, so this one I just take and I just dab on my chin, around my nose, and a little bit up under the eyes. You are not gonna see like any of that baking stuff for me. I am I'm old school. I don't I don't understand that stuff. Um, I know how to do it. I don't like it. Um, it's just not it's not my jam. Okay. Now I do my lips, and I've been using this color. It's um apricot or apricot from Frankie Rose. It's unbelievable. It is such a pretty color. Um, it's very nude um, pink and not too nude, not too pink and oh my god, I love it. See, it is such like a pretty soft like pink color. And then, where'd my lipstick go? Here it is. Um, then, I take my lipstick. Now, y'all, I have used this. To, there's none left. It's Buxom Nudist. You can't even see it because there's nothing on it. And I just tap to 
tap it on, tap it on. And it is like my favorite everyday nude. Okay, and then to finish, I'm like losing everything. To finish, other than mascara, which, sorry guys, um, brush your brows straight up. I like a little bit bushier. If you don't like a little bit bushier, crazy brows, then you don't have to do this, but I like them a little crazy. So this is um, Anastasia's Brows in Soft Brown. And during the day, I do mine, I mean, trust me, they're done, but I do them more at night. and I just brush them straight up so that way it just looks a little bit more natural okay again straight up So yeah, I like mine, like I said, a little crazy. And that's fine. So if you can see, mine's going a little, little everywhere, but that's, that's how I like it. Like a little Eddie Munster. If you girls know what I'm talking about, I hope you do or else I just aged myself. Um, to finish, this is Whoops, are we upside down? We're upside down. Whatever, I'll tell you. It's shocking by YSL, okay? <laughs> um, it is in their black is black. And I already have mascara on, because I was too lazy. And just put it on. I'm not a big bottom mascara person. I never have been. Um, again, not my thing. Um, if I did do it, I do like doing it in brown. That way it kind of offsets sides a little bit. And to finish, after I'm completely done with my makeup, which I am, um, like I told you, very light, I spray the um, Tatcha Luminous Mist and close. And there you have it. Is you know, whenever you do this at home without me talking, it's gonna be five minute makeup, and that is it. And you look good to go out through the day and at night if you don't want to do anything, throw on some lashes and you're all good. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.